Dear graduates, dear families and friends, please don't fast forward yet. I haven't even started, seriously. For those who don't know me, my name is Andreas Kaplan and I'm the Dean and Rector of ESCP Business School in Berlin and Paris. I have the immense pleasure to congratulate you on your achievement to graduate from ESCP, the inventor of the business school concept and the world's first business school. By graduating from our school, you now are part of its long history and tradition. You can be very proud of yourself. To graduate is in any circumstances a big achievement. You even managed to do so during times of COVID-19. Therefore, you can even be prouder of yourself. Obviously, we would have loved to organize a real graduation ceremony and believe me, we already started planning for it several times, every single time adapting to the newest hygiene rules, no mask, mask, different kind of mask, we did it all. However, due to COVID-19, you finally find yourself stuck with this little virtual message from me. And let's be honest, for some of the elements that belong to a graduation ceremony, there is just no way to find a virtual replacement. We all know that raising a glass virtually via Zoom is just not the same experience as in real life. And man, did we try, didn't we? It is just not the same. In any case, I would have enjoyed drinking a glass of champagne with you, but to do so virtually is, in my opinion, more awkward than anything else. Nevertheless, not taking part in a real graduation ceremony also has plenty of advantages. First of all, you don't need to wear a graduation gown, which, let's be honest, looks good on only very few among us. There's no need to think for days of how to do your hair or what shoes to wear to do some kind of damage control with your graduation gown outfit. Also no need to pretend to listen when people give their speeches. You can just fast forward or watch some TikTok videos simultaneously, which I still hope you are currently not tempted with yet. Promise, I'm halfway through already. You also do not need to watch hundreds of people shaking hands, clapping and shouting just because you're afraid that nobody does so when it's your turn to shake hands. Thinking of it, this actually might kind of represent the anti-corona hygiene concept, shaking hundreds of hands. A virtual graduation ceremony also means no space restriction. So you can invite as many people as you want. Thus, you don't need to decide if you rather bring your girlfriend, boyfriend, or both, or grandparents, or whoever else might feel neglected if not getting invited. This might avoid some tough conversations. You also don't run the risk of embarrassing moments meeting with the parents of various encounters, which might or might not have happened during your studies. And you are safe from embarrassing pictures taken late at night or early in the morning of your graduation party, which will follow you for a lifetime. I know we all are very confident at the beginning of an evening that we will behave appropriately, but well, things happen. So to virtually graduate actually might not be that bad after all. Usually, of course, a graduation message should provide at least some wise words. So let me start by saying that, nah, I still don't want to run the risk of being fast forwarded. And honestly, Corona did it for me. Everybody of us did some deep reflections about life perspectives, plans, and the future with COVID-19 all around us. I would not really know what to add to this life lesson. So I keep it short and simple. Life is unpredictable, therefore make the most of it. Graduating means that an important period of your life comes to an end. This should be celebrated in style. But I'm sure that you adapted to the situation and found ways of celebrating this achievement in style. Keep ESCP in your memories. Tell us what is going on in your lives. Come back physically or virtually. As said in the beginning, as alumni, you are now part of the school's history. ESCP is your school. Be proud of it. Be proud of yourself. Congratulations again. And thinking about it, I indeed might raise a glass to your achievement virtually right now. Well, <laughs> in a couple of minutes. <laughs>